I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. The topic today is basketball. More importantly, this is going to kill me to say. I'm not going to lie. It might be time to break up Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. You feel me? I know. J and J Security, J2, J Squared, whatever you want to call them. I think it's about that time. You feel me? Um, at first, I didn't think. At the beginning of the season, I didn't think you should break them up. You feel me? Like I knew that they, they both was averaging 25, even 10 games into the season. Like You don't split that up. They both is like... Uh, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, you feel me? Except they have way better defense. Except Paul George and Kawhi got better defense. But it's like, these are two all-stars, you feel me? Two solidified all-stars. And then with Boston's track record, like obviously Boston don't get no free agents. Either they gonna assign you from a baby, like in a draft, or they gonna trade for you. No free agent really goes to Boston, bro, respectfully. They traded for Kyrie. They, they signed Kemba Walker. I ain't going to do that. And then they, they signed Dennis Schroeder. What we do. Other than that, no marquee free agent goes there. You feel me? They traded for Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. Like, you feel me? They drafted these two young bulls. You feel me? Now it's about to be time to break them up. Your men's Brad Stevenson had a terrible last season. You feel me? And because he's a white coach, your man got promoted instead of getting fired. Now he's the owner of basketball operations or the general manager of whatever. You feel me? He's doing a terrible job. They got a rookie head coach right now. Um, it's, it's bad. I ain't gonna hold you. It's definitely bad. Beginning of the season, Marcus Smart came out and said, J these things is chucks. Like, respectfully, he said they chucks. Like, they score a lot of points, but they don't pass the ball. Like, we love their development, but they need to do more. Respectfully, and they do. Right now, they both is averaging 25. Tatum is averaging 25.5, 8.6 rebounds, and 3.8 assists. That's beastie. That's an all-star right there. Jalen Brown is averaging 24.2, 6.4 rebounds, and 3 assists. That's beastie right there. That's an all-star. Guess what their record is? Not 4, not 5, not 6, not 7, not 8, not 9, 10. They are the 10th seed in the Eastern Conference with two niggas averaging 25. That is embarrassing, respectfully. That is embarrassing. Like, oh my, and then not only that, like they're like three and 11 in close games this year. Games decided under five, they're like three and 11. Like this is, it's, 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 it's both of them, it's everybody's fault, respectfully. It's Boston Celtics for, it's Brad Stevenson for, for one. And it's their fault because Jaylen, Jason Tatum thinks he's Jay, um, Kobe Bryant. And Jalen Brown, he definitely has like just started scoring. You feel me? When he first got there, he was a lockdown defender or a great defender. Now, bro, he's just a ball hog, respectfully. He just put up mad shots, you feel me? Because he didn't just want to be a spot-up shooter or whatever. So he just worked on his offensive game. And now they just literally just watch. They just take turns, bro, respectfully. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown just take turns scoring, bro. They don't set picks for each other. They barely do back doors. They don't do none of that, bro. Like, they just, your turn, my turn. Your turn, my turn. And then when somebody's going off, the other nigga just don't do nothing. Like, your man, Jason Tatum had a 50 ball. I think Jalen Brown had, like, 16 that game. Like, bro, that's sad. Like, they literally, bro, just watch him go off. Like, you don't contribute or none of that. That's sad, bro. That's sad. And then it's like, where do you put them? I wouldn't trade either one of them for Dame. I don't think Dame and Tatum could work together. I don't think Dame and Dame, I stayed them. That would be fire. I don't think Dame and Jalen Brown could work together. So I wouldn't pick up Dame. I wouldn't get Harden. I wouldn't, Is what big is there really? Like, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. They, they, it, they might try to break them up, but they might be stuck with them, respectfully. Like, they might be stuck with them. And then they're not the 15th seed, so they're not going to get a good draft pick. You feel me? And then, if we be honest, Boston has this thing where they like to pick up white players. Like, they look for the next Larry Bird. 
They tried to do it with Gordon Hayward, that didn't work out. So I could definitely feel like see them trying to pick up somebody like uh, Sabonis, you feel me, for the trade deadline. That's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.